We have 26 McGregor D, 1988. Thus far, we've cleaned her. We've pressure washed the hull, and that's revealed like a lot of uh, little dents and bobs and damages that we need to fix and look into. She's been standing for five years, so the inside was a little bit mucky, and we couldn't really film in there. And but now we can. We're gonna give her a new soul, a new name. Now remove this later today. And then later on, we're gonna patch up with an epoxy from West Marine, or a fiberglass repair kit. Then all the dents and deep scratches and such. We jumped onto the other side of the boat. We're not sure what happened and at the time what, what went down, but it would, seems to be covered with primer. Um, it's still not flush and not neat, so I'll have to sand all of this down and do a fiberglass repair on this and then sand it down again to make flush with the boat. Let's go in, into the inside and have a look on the boat on the inside. So we're stepping into the boat. As you can see, I've already tried to clean it. Um, it was quite mucky in here. It needs another clean, which I'm going to be doing. Um, but I've removed most of the things. What's nice about this boat is that it's fiberglass. And just a little matter of cleaning it makes it look like it just came out of the factory. Well, not just out of the factory, but you get the idea. The only wood that was in here, that rotted a little bit, warped a little bit. So I'm going to be recutting those hatches and refitting them to these lazarettes. So this is the aft berth. I've removed all the bedding here. Here's the head. You can see right there. You can put a porta potty in. We have the porta potty. I still need to install it here. Make sure everything is fine with it. This hatch I still need to fix. This little spreader here just attaches to the hatch. Now, what's really interesting here is that from all the other McGregors I've seen, the basin itself drains into the bucket. But this one, it seems, has been modified in a good way um, but it drains to and a through hole fitting in this lazarette we have some wiring that i will probably have to figure out where all the wires go and then replace each one individually because um the condition of the wires may not be as great because they've been sitting for a while in water and i'm not sure the line thickness itself the line gauge itself is appropriate for 12 volt. I'm by no means an expert in fixing boats or repairing boats. My wife and I enjoy sailing. We did a, a sailing course for our honeymoon. We, we're really excited about having this boat. Um, we'd like you to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. If you could do something better, please tell us. Um, we're no experts in this and we're just going on in the journey learning how to fix this thing.